people. And one of the trends I see in church, churchianity I call it, uh, is the idea of splitting up the body into, gr- into groups so that uh, what I would call is groups of ignorance uh, for the sake of relevance. Um, what, what young people, what these older people are doing isn't relevant to me because I'm not in their place in life yet, so that's irrelevant to me. And what the, the older people, you know, the old, the, the, the gray wise owls or whatever, they've got their Sunday school class, and you've got the, the young marrieds, and then you've got the, the, you know, the recently divorced uh, Bible study group, and, and you've, got the, you know, you've got all these little, little divisions of the body, and nobody ever gets together for a meal. And, um, and uh, I have several pastor uh, friends, colleagues that I'm, we're talking these things through, and we're coming to the same sort of conclusions that, um, well, what about young people? I mean, shouldn't everybody have, shouldn't we have, have everybody up here? And um, the answer to that is actually for the meal, if you think about the Bible teaching as the meal, we're going to sit down to and dine on the, the character of the Lord Jesus Christ and take him in, in his word, and know him. Uh, well, the Bible, I mean, and the way God designed us, we know we have tailored nutrition, and it would not be appropriate for a 30-year-old man to nurse his mother at dinner. I know that's a weird statement here on a Sunday morning. Sorry, visitors. Sometimes we say, we say strange things, but, but that would not be appropriate under any circumstances uh, that I can imagine. But uh, I, even in Jesus' day, I mean, weaning was about three years old. So uh, there was tailored nutrition for the way God designed us. And I guarantee you what I'm going to say here will have more effect on parents if they're able to process it and teach it to their children than it will have on six-year-olds. Although I challenge the parents to bring their six-year-olds to to class upstairs, uh, uh, at least from time to time, but we also see the need to tailor it down for young people so they can process these things. And the the interest is just tailored nutrition, not the division of the body, and it's not about relevance. Understand the reason why we do the things we do. We don't just politically, and I mean in a very shallow reason, you know, we're for the reds and we're we're for the blues, some some non-principled reason. We don't just politically say, well, this is how we've always done it, so that's the way to do it. Or we don't jump on a bandwagon as they did in the 1890s and say the Sunday school movement, so now everybody has to have Sunday school. We don't make our decisions that way. We do them biblically. And you know what? There's nothing new under the sun, and there's nothing new in the Bible for 2,000 years because the Apostle John stopped writing in 96 AD, and he closed the Scriptures and said, don't add to this book, meaning the book of Revelation, and by extension, that means... In my understanding, you don't add to the scriptures because what God has told us in his revelation, the revelation of Christ by John, uh, until these things happen, we don't need additional special revelation. We need to process what he said, the whole very mind of Christ and the word of God. And if you'll turn with me this morning to uh, Psalm 119, 